happy now. Say it in case you consider yourself Suduracharaha. It's a very powerful word in Sanskrit. Achara means contact. Durachara means dirty contact. Ugly, wild, false or wrong conduct in life. See now. And it's not sufficient. Su Durachara. Supremely wicked. So means extreme. Even if you be the greatest sinner in the world, beyond me there is no sinner. Cruel, criminal, even if you be so. And I am sure that such an individual is not here. Even in your sitting, you are third rate sinners. You are not the high class sinners. Even if you be the greatest sinner in the world, in case you start bhajade maam, seek me, an anya bhak, with no other thoughts in the mind, not seek me to beg of something in the world outside, give me a man, I have no husband, I have no wife, I have no children, no! An anyabhak with no other thought or desire in your mind, if you surrender to me totally. Sadhureva Chamantavya. However ugly and leprous his mind might have been before, he is to be considered from that moment. Sadhureva, that he has already reached me. Mandavya has, he must be considered as sacred as an individual who has reached the highest. He has reached his destination the moment he has decided. Why? Samyak vevasito hisaha. He has come to the right decision. That to gather his wandering mind which has been running about in the world of sensuality, hoping that there will be happiness there available. He has understood it. He has got licked by the world outside. He has been kicked sufficiently from the world outside. He has realized the wisdom that here is what I can get in the world outside is not what I want in my life. Think hey? in the night. Whole day you have been using the chewing gum. In the night while you are going to bed, with no regret. In fact, a relief, because all these muscles are tired in the same way. Having chewed the world of plurality, enjoyed everything in the world of sensuality, the part that, oh, this is all in the world. Ah! This is not what I want. And thus what about her has turned towards him with great devotion, with no desire and demand of the outer world. Such an individual from that moment onwards may be considered as one who had already reached. You have got that ticket. You have been already checked in. And you are walking into the plane and having sat down in your seat. You can consider what? That you have reached your destination. The plane takes off and lands at your destination, unless something happens to the plane. Here, Lord says, once you have decided that, it's all depending upon your decision, decided that, you consider yourself have reached. Chipram Bhavri Dharmatma. An individual who has thus decided and turned towards me in no time, Chipram, quickly, Bhavati Dharmatma, he becomes the most righteous man in the world. Why? Once you have turned, you are functioning in the world without ego and egocentric desires. The one who is functioning without ego and egocentric desires is a Dharmatma. He is the most virtuous guy. You and I are tempted to do evil only when 
actions are prompted by the ego and whipped up by selfish desires. When these two are not there, all actions that spring out from you is the most egregious acts, bringing only happiness and glory to yourself and to the community around you. It is when poisoned by your selfishness and your ego that the actions become evil. Once you have turned it towards me in devotion, you are acting without, above, from above the ego and the selfish desire level. Chipram Bhavadi Dharmatma. Very soon he becomes a sattvic person. No more is the old vasanas of sensuality ever prompt you. You become kind, loving, tender, merciful, affectionate, ready to sacrifice yourself for the benefit and joy of others. Mind and intellect becomes quiet. Because all the agitations were created by the desire and you are, prant uh, you are frantic running into the world of OET seeking the satisfaction in the sense world. That was the agitations of the mind. Such an individual becomes peaceful. When peaceful the mind has become shanti, peace. Shashwat shanti. Not peace that you and I experience. When I was very thirsty, I got a glass of cold water. Ha! Ah, very peaceful. That is a satisfaction temporary. Immediately another desire will come. This is natural in the human mind. Here it is not a peace that rises in you because of the satisfaction of a desired object, gaining a desired object. But it is the very nature. Shashwa Chandim Nigachari. He comes to experience traces of that infinite peace that passeth all understanding. Pratijani, firmly beyond all traces of doubt, please understand. Pratijani. What? Name Bhakta Pranasya. One who is a devotee of me. He knows no destruction. In whatever condition you may be at this moment, broken, shattered, <coughs> suffering, with a moral ulceration in your mind, each ulcer bleeding, pus and pain and, and blood, you may be abominably a wretched creature, and yet the moment you turn towards me, beyond all traces of doubt, firmly understand what Nami Bhakta Pranashari, my devotee shall never come to any harm. He will be healed. Healed not physically. In his mind and intellect all the ulcerations override this. All the sins that you have committed have been healed. You become a hale and healthy inner personality.